Since most computed tomography studies require anesthesia or heavy sedation of the patient, our first concern is choosing a drug protocol that will be safe and well tolerated for your pet. Though most of our patients have already been examined prior to the study, many are suffering from a more serious illness that could affect cardiovascular stability or contraindicate certain anesthesia protocols. The imaging process begins with a repeat physical examination and measuring of vital signs. Our doctors then will review any and all available history for the patient and determine the best approach for anesthesia or sedation. Information from previous physical examinations and laboratory results are all carefully considered during this time. If any additional diagnostic testing is required for the patient, it would be performed prior to the administration of anesthesia drugs. Most protocols begin with administration of a sedative or tranquilizer that reduces patient anxiety and decreases the dose of agents to be used later in the protocol. While pre-anesthetic drugs are taking effect, the initial scan settings are entered at the CT control console. Today's patient is receiving an examination of her nasal cavity to determine the cause of chronic sneezing and nasal discharge. Once the pre-anesthetic drugs have taken effect, an IV catheter is placed in a peripheral vein. This catheter provides access to support blood pressure with IV fluids administered throughout the procedure. Intravenous access is then also available for administration of anesthesia induction, induction agent, contrast material, and other medications that may become necessary during the anesthetic period. Back in the control room, our doctors are once again reviewing the patient medical record to provide a concise history for our consulting radiologists. When the patient and team are ready, anesthesia is induced using an injection and a breathing tube is placed in the trachea. This tube provides positive control of the airway throughout the study and allows delivery of inhalant anesthetic agent to maintain the desired level of anesthesia. The anesthetized patient is placed in the scanner bed where IV fluid support and multiple electronic monitoring sensors are placed. These sensors continuously monitor the cardiac rhythm, respiratory rate, arterial oxygen, and expired gas concentration of the patient. Our certified veterinary technicians also monitor manually to ensure the patient is at the desired plane of anesthesia during the procedure. Precise patient positioning is critical to the quality of any imaging study. To position CT patients, we dim the scanner room lights and activate a laser positioning system. Measurements are taken of the desired body region and a landmark or zero point is determined so that this information can be programmed into the CT control console. Scanning begins with scout images that are actually more like x-ray images obtained at 90 degree angles to each other. These scout images represent an orthogonal image set that allows us to precisely identify the location in space of a structure to be scanned and displayed in the final CT image series. With the sample volume set, there are a few more study parameters to set and double check. During this time, the study is optimized to allow the best compromise between image quality and the physical limits of the CT system. With the aid of computer processing, optimization can be performed very rapidly. The scan settings are confirmed and the patient is moved into position to begin the planned series. Images are displayed in order of acquisition at the control console where positioning and other settings uh, used are reevaluated in real time. 
This ensures additional quality control of the scan. The scan operator also receives input from the console that precisely records each stage of the scan. If, for instance, a series had to be stopped for any reason, it could then be resumed at that exact location later. In many cases, the initial CT series will be repeated after the injection of IV contrast material. Administration of IV contrast allows the radiologist to assess the amount of blood flow in a lesion or tissue and is especially helpful to differentiate tissue from accumulating fluid. During image acquisition, images produced by the scanner are automatically transferred to additional workstations in the control room, to a reading radiologist, and to off-site storage servers to ensure that multiple backup copies of each study are always available. Each study is reviewed by one of our doctors to determine if any additional images are required prior to ending the study and moving the patient to a recovery ward.